Welcome back to GDPG, where we play games and talk game design, and we are back with more Mighty Number no. 9. And this time, Gicarius is going to destroy this boss, because he's had a little moment to gather himself and... Uh, and actually work on the controls. <laughs> yeah. Which, you know, it, as we were kind of saying off-camera, is the one disadvantage to playing a game um, blind. And that's one reason why we generally like to play the games ahead of time, is both so that we make sure that, you know, A, we can... We know what we're talking about when we're talking about the game design, um, but also right. so we don't suck w so bad when we there play. There we go. Because we're not a comedy show, right? Like, if the game grumps suck, it's okay, because it's funny, but... Yeah, when I suck, it's just sad. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. And I'll do my best to make a joke about it, though. <laughs> Self-deprecation. De deprecation. But anyway... Either way, I'm good at it. So the one thing that we failed to realize with that boss battle was that we were supposed to um, assimilate his, like, power as we damaged him. Yeah, you and, guys are probably noticing that as we're playing, for those of you who have played. <laughs> yeah, and, and I mean, so, the one obvious thing is that there are the particles surrounding him that's, that show up whenever any other enemy is ready to yeah. assimilate. So that was our hint that, oh, this is what you need to do. Yeah. Um, plus the fact that he recovered his health, I guess, is another hint. Yes. Um, now, what I will say is counterintuitive about that is that generally when we assimilate, that is the, the death of that enemy. Yes. But um, this is our and, first time seeing that mm -hmm. you have to keep assimilating over and over again. Yeah. But I, what I will say, though, before we jump to the next level is that this level, we, we played through it again off camera just so that we could get more lives. Oh, yeah. Um, I do. I did realize that it did a much better job teaching the player all of the different like environmental challenges yes. that I think there will be. I mean, obviously, yes. we don't know what's beyond this point, but there was so much. Like they taught us that we can shoot while we're climbing a ladder. They mm -hmm. taught us that we can slide through long corridors. Yeah, like, they, narrow they us hallways, all, a whole bunch of things. Yeah. So I, I think hopefully what we'll see as we continue to play is that the very first level did a good job at showing it, showing the player all of the challenges yep. in, in mechanics may hopefully not too much right because if you know that's the whole game then then you know, maybe they should have saved some yeah of right absolutely <laughs> i think we'll be seeing more though yeah i think so too so let's get on to this next level and you did this one with a b ranking so yeah which, which is i can only get worse from here guys <laughs> yeah. only get worse from here let's see how long this takes oh man Based on empirical evidence, <laughs> I believe they might be suffering from this robot affliction that's going around. Crikey! It's like I like that his mouth is just completely nuts all at once. Let me contact my brother at the head office in Tokyo. We should do an episode, Chris, where we just open our mouths and we just record the voice word, yeah, over it. And <laughs> I'm sorry, Soichiro. Please Are they related? The Japanese government won't let that's racist. They look exactly the same. That's racist. They're both fat guys with big fat noses. That's yep, they are. They're both Sandas. Do you see the last name is both Sanda? <laughs> That's racist. It's not sizest. Just to confirm, Mr. Sanda, if we can isolate the cause of the robot rampage, we'll send aid. Absolutely, Professor White. Anything we can do. Did you have a plan in mind? Yes. We'll send Beck to track down all his fellow mighty numbers. Great idea. Wait, what? <laughs> his assimilation uh. should filter any irregularities from his siblings' programming. If we can gather and study multiple samples, perhaps we can isolate the cause of the problem. It's a long shot, but it's our only hope. The fate of the entire country hangs in the balance. I'll finish reactivating calls so she can provide support. Let's get to it. So and we're all coming like, to our beck and call. Yeah, so... Ha, 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 get it. So then there are seven guys we need to find then? Well, I don't know if call is a, a mighty number. Yeah. I think she's just support. Mm, that makes sense. So I think she's, have, she's our role in the... Yo, yeah, she's universe. absolute. Oh, and now the... Ah, so here you've unlocked challenge, solo, and leaderboards. Woo. Interesting. Oh, God. Okay, no, I don't... So I wonder what the challenges are, if they're just like a fun new way to play the same level again, or if you can actually get new things out of it. There might be new things, tips have been added, wow there's all these... 
a lot of stuff. This is kind of a strange thing. I feel like they're putting a main menu in the middle of their game. Well, it's 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 a hub. Yeah. Um, which I'm not super opposed to. I think some games do it really well. Yeah. A little clunky um, for this. Well, it, it makes sense in a Mega Man esque game because yeah. there was always sort of a the, hub. There was, the was hub, just not like, like a, an environment, environment to play with. Yes. It. Yeah. I think this is fine. Um, but we'll just kind of go to the next one, I guess. Yeah. I don't know which one's the next one, though. I guess maybe Probably number, number two. Oh, wait, wait. Was the robot five, though, or no? No, I think that first level was just us saving ourselves. So. Oh, okay, so it, it's Mega Man style, right? So yeah, we so really could just, just go anywhere. Go anywhere. The question is, is, you know, there's always going to be... One to start off with that's, that's good. That's the easiest, and then they, they all have varying difficulties, so how do we know? Uh, yeah. I mean, if we're going off Mega Man X rules, the ice place is probably the easiest one, right? So that would be... I think that would be this, oh, that the, second one. Yeah, the second one. Mighty number two. Let's it give it a shot! It could be Mighty number one, though, for all we know. That's kind of fun. Cool. You know, even though I'm we complained sure. about the voiceover in, in episode one, I do like it. I think yeah. I think their pacing got a little bit better after the tutorial Yeah, stuff. the tutorial got a little rough. The main is and it, I, I like this a lot, too. Yeah, look at me absorbing things. Like, having having that voiceover dialogue while we're actually running around in the stage, that's actually kind of fun. It, it gives I, it a lot of I flavor. know I'm supposed to drop, but I kind of want to try yeah. and go over to the side. No, that's, and that's really clever, too, because that slight camera change, that tells us everything about... Um, everything. Oh, my gosh. I can hardly see. Okay. Yeah, geez. That is murky. This is... Oh, I can destroy those. Okay. You could... Maybe assimilate them. I yeah, I was trying to see if I could, but I couldn't tell. Can I go farther <laughs> down, or am I gonna die if I go down? Oh, you'll be fine. I'm fine. Probably. All right. So we did kind of discover one thing about the assimilation mechanic in in between uh, episodes. Wait, how am I down to two lives? I still had I had five at the end of the first level. Yeah, it must not carry over, which is that's. So uh, I guess okay. it, it could be a good thing and a bad thing, right? Because if you're low on lives, then that means that. You know, you will always start okay. the next stage with go. with m more lives. Yeah, right. Um, and and so it sort of removes the the total um, game over scenario, which you know is kind of nice. That was one of the things that made like Mega Man X particularly challenging, or even yeah. the original Mega Man games. Um, I think that's why a lot of people never even finished those unless they had like that. Thanks, Dr. White. <laughs> Thanks, oh, no. buddy. Oh, no. Ooh. Okay, so can I jump from one side to the next? Yeah, you just gotta not there. be all the way up when you do it. Right, yeah, I, I can do the arms. Cool. Yeah. So we, we did discover one thing about the assimilation mechanic, and that is if you... I think when you hit 100% assimilation on something, it racks up a combo. Yes. Um, so long as you don't take damage, I think. I, I'm not sure what, what restarts that counter... Um, but the the combo gives you what seems like special oh, oh, power-ups. Oh. Or maybe just the assimilation does. But, like, right now you have, like, super shots. Or, like, maybe they're fire shots, for all I can tell. I yeah, can't really I'm tell from really that icon. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Yeah, it's kind of... But they're, they're more powerful than your standard shot. So that's what I think they're doing instead oh, uh, of... Oh, <sighs> I shots. couldn't see that. Like, I was doing so not well. Well, now we know that those will kill you immediately. Yeah, that was, that, that was insta-death. Um, that was cool. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's just... Uh... Man, this is really tight, too. I mean, I guess you're in the water, so it's not so bad. Yeah, but it's just that, like, okay, we were. So... I wonder if the score means anything outside of the leaderboards. You got to use your dash. I there. use my dash. Oh no, I'm not using my dash. That's absolutely. You right. you also missed a, a door to the the right that you could Did have dashed I? into. Yeah, right right before that. I don't know. Like I said, I'm just having at least for my eyes, this murky water. Like I'm having trouble telling. Yeah, I, I suppose it could be the TV too, but I. They, I doubt they did that. intentionally make it murky, which is interesting. It does help give it the water effect, though. 
Ah, uh, nothing. And no. it's probably more... Oh, well, they do have some sort of wavy stuff going on. Uh -oh. Yeah, right there. Bam! Secret zone. Well, what in the world? Whoa! Oh! Is that... Oh, that's another form! So maybe that's what the assimilation does. What is... What are they, though? Uh, I don't know. I guess try making those next to an enemy. Let's see what they do. Okay, that like medkit thing also recharged your ammo. Yeah, they're they don't do anything. Okay, I'm gonna switch back. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that was exactly. Oh well, I thought you were ready or to. Or maybe assimilate. it was like a decoy. Well, if I can't shoot at it, you gotta shoot the. You gotta like. No, no, the no, I know this. No, I'm just talking about with with, with the other with with the other person I transformed into. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I, maybe we'll have to look that up in between episodes or something. That's interesting. It's fine. Well, anyway, that's that's, wild. that's that's all we have for this episode. Yeah, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. This is a weird one. Yeah. Um. You saw me die a few times with stupid electrical, Greg, because I'm not good at aiming. That's something. So question of the day. Um, we'll, we'll make this question of a day a, a general one, unless you have something in mind. Mm -mm. So I want to talk to you guys about, or I want to ask you guys what you think about the level design so far. So obviously, um, we had a moment to kind of like take a, a second look at the yeah. first level off camera and kind of um, got some better opinions about it. But what do you guys think about the level design so far? Do you think that... Um, you know, they're doing both a good job at teaching the player how to play the game and all the d the different challenges, but, y you know, even from what you've seen in the water level so far, too, um, you know, do you think it's got good level flow and it's keeping mm, the challenge going fair. at a, at an interesting pace? Yeah, yeah, I agree. Well, thank you for watching, everyone. Be yeah. sure to vote on what you want us to play after we're done with Mighty Number no. 9, or if you want us to keep playing Mighty Number no. 9. Yeah, want to see me keep uh, falling on my face. <laughs> um, and also, guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, because that's how we find out what you guys want to see. Absolutely, and it helps keep us going and keep being motivated to keep putting out more videos. Yeah, right? So. And we like to have fun. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. See you in the next episode.